Okay, since Final Cut Pro 10.4 came out, and now with High Sierra you can import uh, H.265 video. I've been playing with Final Cut and importing some 6K video from my GH5. So as you can see here, I've done a comparison of the clips using different photo modes. I really like 6K photo. Uh, it has the least amount of trouble as far as color grading, as far as I can tell. I am not a professional colorist, but I'll let you be the judge. Please leave your comments below. Here's an all eye 24 frame per second video, and it's a one gigabyte file for these 11 seconds versus the 6K photo, which was 290 megabytes. So I think they give you roughly the same outcome, but way different file sizes. Here's the same two files side by side. You'd think they'd be identical, but I couldn't make the colors match. Here's another direct comparison side by side outdoors where you see very little difference. Of course the 6K has more pixels, so I think it's just an aspect ratio thing. Then from each of those clips I took a still frame to compare them. Again, not a lot of difference. If I had to pick one, I'd pick the 6K. Not sure what the shooting differences were. And then here's 200% zoomed in, and as you can see, the 6K has more resolution since it has more pixels. And then I want to see if there's a difference between the in-camera export of a JPEG versus a frame freeze in Final Cut. In this comparison, you'd be hard-pressed to even see the seam in the middle of the screen. So what did we learn from this? I really like 6K Photo. Uh, it seems to be easier to color grade. Don't ask me why. Um, you get the wider aspect range. I've been shooting 3.2. If you're a wedding photographer, you can take any still out of this and get a good quality print. So you don't need a separate videographer and photographer. Um, the file sizes are smaller than some of the higher bitrate movie modes. And I just don't see the big difference in quality. Again, I'm not a pro. Uh, for a prosumer, I would definitely shoot in 6K photo mode.